So you're riding down the road and you look in your mirror and you see some blue flashing lights. Blue flashing lights. Don't panic. Not for you. Now the first thing to do is don't panic. They may not be after you, but if you're driving along in a 20 mile an hour like this, doing 35, 40, they are going to be for you. Fuck off! If it's a normal car, it's just going to be, you should do that, you should learn that to ride. Okay, if it's a, uh, a proper car, proper traffic, little white hat on, then it's got your bang to rights. So, best thing to do is find a safe place to stop. Now, if it's a car he's following you, just put your hand up to let him know that you've recognised him, you know he's behind you, and then you're going to find a safe place to pull over. Then you pull over in this safe place. Yep. And this is where it gets the same if you get stopped by a car or a bike. Always, always pull over in a safe place. And make sure you leave space for them. It gives them an idea that you know what's happening around you and this is important. Yeah, it gives you sort of like, lets them know that you're aware of your situation and it's, that is important. So you pull over, what do you do? First things first, turn your bike off. Put it on the stand, get off of it, take your crash helmet off. Be polite. Yep. Show him the respect that they deserve. <laughs> yeah? Cool. So you're there. Now then, depending on what they stopped you for or what they've done, nine times out of ten they'll go, Do you know why I stopped you? And if you was speeding, say a little bit over the speed limit probably say something like, did I get the speed limit wrong, officer? You know, give them a little bit of flannel, a little bit of lightheartedness. Don't go balling in with, I oh, did do nothing wrong, why are you victimising me? Why well, is it because I'm on a bike? No. Keep it nice, straightforward. Go on, mate. Keep it all nice and pleasant, yeah? That's what you really need to do. Because at this point, nothing's happening yeah it really really isn't it's more than likely give you a bollock in depends on what you've done if you're a little bit over the speed limit it's a bollock in yeah don't antagonize them they're not fucking it's just it's not worth it for you not for them they don't give a fuck you know what i mean you wind them up they're going to stick it to you simple as now if it's a car, your bank are right, it's all caught on video, calibrate your speedo, that's it. You might as well put your fucking hands up and say, I am sorry, and then that is it. Just apologise. If it's a bike, and you say, oh, was I going a bit quick there? Give it the old, uh, the old Ted excuse. Ted's always a good excuse, yeah? And Ted is, time exposed to danger, yeah? You went past that last car a little bit quick because he seemed to be driving erratically and you wanted to get out of his way to put you in a safe position. Yeah? Use that one before, sort of goes down, A-OK. -okay. You'll, you'll, you'll get away with that to an extent. Okay? Uh, what else is there? If you're doing 40 in a 20, you deserve to get nicked. Yeah, I mean, we go out for a ride at the weekends, go for a bit of a blast, and you will find A roads, open roads, the police, provided you're not in three figures, 
the police are quite understanding. Yeah? If they're following you and they're on an unmarked bike and you're doing 90s and 80s in a 60 mile an hour A road, they're not going to be too pleased. But if you come up to a little village that says 30 and you bang it down to 30, 35 mile an hour through there, keeping it that all the way through, they're going to understand that you've got a little bit of respect of of what's going on. You're all aware of what's around you. You're not a complete cunt. And on the uh, subject of being a complete cunt, if you're driving down a road in your trainers, jeans, t-shirt, you got your crash helmet on but you've got no gloves or no nothing, right? And you're riding like a bit of a twat, they are going to stick it to you. They are going to go right over your bike. They're going to check the tyre. They're going to check everything, mate. They're going to really, really, really go to town. If you're out going a bit quick and you're in, like, proper boots, proper leathers, even textile tops, you know, all the gear on, and you're positioning yourself in the right position most of the time, AO, they can understand that you are a responsible rider who just gives it a little bit every now and then. And if they're on the bike, they will understand that. So, my biggest points are, don't kick off when they pull you over. Be respectful. It's hard, I know, but if it saves you three points and saves you a £100 fine, got to be worth it, hasn't it, eh?